Next is a simple buried suture. This will be the main suture you'll use when putting some deeper sutures in before putting your skin suture in. It's important to bury a suture that we start deep and go superficial and end up in the dermis without buttonholing the skin. And then on the opposite side, we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna go superficial and then deep. And if you want your knot to bury, it's important that both ends are on the same side of the loop. And you see here's my loop, and here's the suture coming out from the same side. And as we tie this down, we'll do an instrument tie, but we'll pull it along the length of the wound, and that'll help the skin edges to come together. And we'll do a nice instrument tie. And what this does is it takes the tension off the skin so that when you go to do your skin closure, you really can work on approximation. You can see here that, that helps hold that together. Let's go ahead and do one more. You're gonna go from deep to superficial without buttonholing the skin. And then go from superficial to deep. Make sure that you're coming out on the same side of the loop. And we'll do our instrument tie and we'll pull it along the length of the wound so it'll allow it to bury. Come back to the other side and back to the other side. And that is our simple interrupted buried suture.